September of 1998, uh, my uncle's family was driving back, um, was on a road trip, driving back home, and my cousin lost control of the wheel, and unfortunately, my uncle died. But him, like, sorry, but him passing away, I still hear his laughter. Sorry. I still hear his laughter and his words of wisdom to me. And even though I'm not here personally, I still feel him. And today, today I'm here to discuss three people who are dead but still continue to live their legacy as a legend. The first person I would like to talk about is Bob Marley. Um, for those who <laughs> for those who don't know, um, he is known for his wonderful reggae music. But not only that, is through his music, he, but through his music, he spread peace. And because um, in his country there was a war going on, and he was all about uniting people together. And he used his music, his talent to unite the people and it did a great difference until until this day people listen to his music people listen to his music in hoping to like have peace in the world to spread peace. Another person I like to talk about is Martin Luther King. That guy is a legend to me because without him, black people wouldn't be here right now. And it's not just black people, I think he cut discrimination in the world. Not fully but he made a big difference by today like Black people wouldn't be in schools with us. There wouldn't be no separation in the bathroom. They would, they wouldn't be like in the same bus. It was. He just brought different races together, and it's made a big difference today. And the last person I like to talk about is Jesus. Yes. <laughs> um, he passed away a long, long time ago, but <laughs> he made a big difference because he's given people faith. He's given people faith to believe in some power that even though things are going wrong, people still have some people still have someone to look up to up there. And in a sense it's like he well, he's giving us peace that if you can't see someone there, at least we know them like they're spiritually listening to you, being there for you, comforting you and supporting you. So in all, even though if people pass away, they're still here supporting you and guiding you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like <laughs> 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 All right, Stephanie, you started with a story that's uh, very dramatic, and it's a little tough for you to get through, so your composure is going to be stretched uh, in the introduction, and I think that that might be a little awkward for you. Uh, I'm not sure what your quote is or what the topic is. Uh, your thesis is also a little general, but at the end of the speech, I had a clearer idea of what you were talking about because you did have uh, a, a pretty effective summary, and I know you're there somewhere. There you go. There you are. Uh, and, and I thought you had a, an effective summary and a, and a pretty good exit line. 
Uh, on the content issues, uh, it's well organized around the three individuals that you're talking about. Um, some of the examples, I think, are a little abstract and uh, there's some broad generalizations. It would be easier if you had some particulars that you can talk about. The presentation itself, you project your voice pretty effectively and I think there's pretty good variety. I thought you had some very good indicative gestures when you were speaking. Uh, you did have some variety in your facial expressions, but of course you also had a couple of awkward points where you had to compose yourself. Um, your contact with the audience uh, was not always consistent, but when you looked at the audience you really seemed like you were engaging the audience, not just looking out in that direction. Um, and like I said, there were one or two places in the intro where you had a tough time, but once you got to your subject matter, uh, you were doing fine. And it sounded like you were giving yourself a little a bit of a hard time about the uh, quote also just a second ago. I thought I heard you say something about it too. Okay, well, you know, that happens. <laughs>